costumes in this are absolutely beautiful. I mean, as, as a period, it's pretty wonderful. It's all tailored and it's very, very um, flattering. This is my first um, bonnet and corset, so I'm very, very happy to be in this headgear. <laughs> Everyone sort of comes on set and they all go up to people and say, that's an amazing colour, and then they feel it. And so there's a lot of pleasure in the texture and the colour of the clothes. I normally hate wearing this kind of clothes. <laughs> I, you know, I, really, I feel really self-conscious, but uh, Ros's stuff is amazing. Jim and George have very strong ideas about wanting this to look like an oil painting and not like a colour pastel or a beautiful uh, engraving with very faint um, watercolour wash. So I started off with the idea that this was a Georgian oil painting using really strong Georgian colours. They wanted to kind of enhance the emotional depth of the characters by choosing strong, strong colours and having quite a strong palette. This was my idea for Emma's colours, and in fact this is the colour palette I've almost exactly used for her. And we made a hat very similar to this, because what we wanted to do was to have Emma in hats, because she should do, as in her position in society, go out with a hat on. But I didn't want a very obscuring bonnet, so what we did do was find wide brim straws and then tie them on securely, or put lovely ribbons around them. Emma's an interesting heroine because she has the highest social status of any of, of Austen's heroines. She doesn't have to marry, she's independently wealthy, and her, her wealth is, is on display in, in her costumes. So you can see my little, my little watch here. She usually, in the scenes where we're shooting at Hartfield at her home, has something to demarcate her as lady of the house. So even though she's this young woman at the end of girlhood, she is mistress of the house. This coat was copied from one in the museum in um, Coyote. This was the red I wanted and we dyed this as well to get it exactly right. Didn't want it to look pillar boxy or anything. We just found this perfect colour for her. This is her ball dress, which she wears the ball at the crown, which was layers, layers and layers of different coloured fabric to get this sort of shimmery effect. Because one of the things we didn't want to do was to have sort of plain flat pastels so and by doing layers of fabric over one another you get a much more interesting effect when it's lit here is mr knightley and this is Lowsley where we actually filmed so this was his um house that we used as a, obviously that they changed the set but i just used the idea of this nice wooden paddling and the library and so on and here's a man with his gamekeeper and then this is johnny and this is just an image of a of a, of a gentleman really um living in his world and these and these greens and this blue and these were his colors that i was using i just said oh i like you know i like a bit of green i like greens and blues uh, i look like an idiot in yellow um stuff like that and then she uh, she paid attention to that but when we get together and we have a fitting and you work out what shapes work on you and stuff like that I mean, listen to me i really sound like i know what i'm talking about you know what shapes and templates i could say words like templates and shapes and textures yes these are johnny's coats here it's very messy. And this is his, oh no, he's, actually he's wearing his, his dark green one. But this is the one, that I, one of the ones I had made for him. I said I want it to be the colour of the Atlantic when it's looking a bit stormy. And they dyed it for me brilliantly, exactly right. And it does just look great on him. He's the um, master of the house, but he is still quite uh, countryfied. He also likes to walk and ride horses a lot. So we didn't, we didn't want anything to flowery and too, you know, too extravagant. So m most of my stuff is a lot more sombre than this, and a lot more, you could see someone wear it, even though it's the tailcoat, so you could see someone wearing it every day and living in it. I've usually got riding boots on and, you know, all that stuff. Stuff you can, you know, march around in. When he gets married, he's got this waistcoat and then a beautiful dark blue coat, which is actually waiting to be worn tomorrow, a not dissimilar colour to that, so this would be like this, which looks rather good. This is one of my nicer outfits, yeah. I could see myself uh, gambling in this. <laughs> Who is that young woman? Wait! That is Harriet Smith. Harriet doesn't have too many clothes, and they're not up to Emma's standard at all. But she initially starts off wearing things that have a lot of blue in them, or green, and things that are sort of more kind of natural colours. Harriet starts to morph into a kind of image of, of Emma and, and she adopts some of my um, my colour choices in a way of kind of showing the way that, 
that, that um, she starts to imitate her, or Emma starts to kind of manipulate her imitation. I remember when we first started trying things on, there were a lot of kind of quite organic colours, kind of, kind of crumpled form, and then we headed to something much more kind of horrible. I just had a sense that he, he should be quite louche, and he should be quite garish. I think the idea is he doesn't have a huge amount of taste or class, which is very funny. This man here is a clergyman riding on horseback, he's hunting, and this again, this is a clergyman. And then I quite like this image, which is quite fashiony, um, but a little bit foolish um, and self-conscious. And funnily enough, um, Blake Ritson, who plays Mr. Elton's hair and Osher's design, is marvellous spiky hairdo, and I just think that's quite actually very serendipitously turned out a bit like that. You see me very kind of black and white and sombre, and then as I become more and more infatuated with Emma, suddenly my outfits become more and more of a kind of a peacock hue, and my hair gets gradually bigger and bigger and more and more eccentric. <laughs> This is a really, really saucy outfit for Miss Bates. This is her, this is a wedding. She's going to a wedding in this, can you imagine? So, so her everyday gear, as you, as you might imagine in comparison to this, is um, there's a sadness about it. And I have two dresses. They're exactly the same, but one is not faded and one is faded. <laughs> and she's had the same dress for 15 years. It was beautiful. They made it exactly, but just faded it and bleached it down so that it looks like she's been... Over what?